How do you feel about environmental conditions and mental health? Environmental conditions, I think uh, we could do much better on as a country. Uh, smog and the pollution is uh, getting worse. Global warming, I think, is real. Um, and in the long run, it's going to affect our kids and grandkids, you know? And uh, what was the second question now? Does it have an effect on your mental health? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't stress it too much because, you know, I don't see the... I mean, it's more long-term effects, and I think people don't really stress long-term effects, as, you know, like they would if it was like an instant impact on them, you know? Um, so I think like mostly for most people out of sight out of mind and that's the problem You know got to bring more awareness to it and bring it to the forefront because uh, If you're not talking about it, they're not thinking about it What is the most common denominator for the reasons that most people fall into that unfortunate circumstance? I think the greatest factor would be drugs you know, uh, an ad addiction to whatever, uh, alcohol, uh, cocaine, fentanyl, gambling, I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, um, but yeah, I think I think addiction would be the number one cause of homelessness. Not total, you know what I mean, not everybody, there are exceptions, but I would say most people, yeah. If you had to put a percentage on the amount of people that are homeless with addiction, mm -hmm. In your opinion, what would that number be? Uh, I mean, based on the people I know, and I've seen, I'd probably say about, probably 75%. So how do you feel about the relevant resources? Are there enough resources for the homeless? No, no, not, not now. This COVID thing um, really uh, took away a lot of those resources or, or prolonged them, you know what I mean? Housing and everything like that. It's just not, it's not easy at all right now. COVID thing, you gotta jump through hoops right now. So, with the unfortunate thing, I'm sorry, since being homeless, mm -hmm. what are some of the desperate calls for desperate messages that you or probably no others had the experience as far as having to eat food or find somewhere to sleep? Uh, food? You know, people help you out, you know, as far as food goes, um, you know, whether they give you, you know, a few bucks to buy something or to give you food itself. Uh, usually, you know, I don't go a day without eating. I mean, there are some times you do skip a day or two, but uh, for the most part, you eat uh, enough to, to, to get you through sleeping. I've been sleeping, you know, out here for the past month, you know, on the patio here. Um, out in the open, so yeah, I, shelter is the biggest issue. How many people think that a homeless have a mental health disorder as well? I say a lot. I mean... <laughs> you gotta put it on the earphones. 100%. You gotta have some kind of mental problem not to, to have to be out here, you know what I mean? I know so like it, some of it ain't your fault, but um... Um... I, I shouldn't... Yeah, it's kind of unfair to say 100%. I don't, you know, you can't label people like that, but 90%, you know? Um, 90% whether it be depression you know what I mean like like for me I you know I had a job I broke my leg COVID hit they closed down all non-essential businesses I lost my job uh, became homeless um, mental health didn't you know it, it played a factor only when I became depressed and you know what I mean you know when you're depressed you no motivation uh, you know um, uh, you know sense of hopelessness you know and 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 it, it weighs on you so it, it does disable you to uh stepping forward making you know making the right moves and doing the right things to, to, to get out of the situation i would say about 90 percent of the people have that problem mm -hmm. what do you think are some of the social ills that are produced by american society i think i think uh American society, I think we got to do a lot better with uh, with hate. You know what I mean? Like uh, it seems like a, you know whether it be politics, uh, Democrat, Republican, or Independent, or uh, 
uh, racism, you know, in, in any manner, you know, in any faction, uh, African American, white, Chinese, Spanish, whatever, somebody's always at each other's throat or thinking along those lines as far as racism goes. Um, I think we gotta do a lot better, um, stop fighting with each other and, and, and closing our minds and having a negative attitude and open our minds and uh, kind of listen to each other because if we're we're talking and yelling at each other and, and, and motherfucking each other, so to speak, you know, we're not we're not uh, addressing the problem. And the only way you can do that is have an open mind and, and listen to each other. Maybe you might have an idea that, that, that'll work or you can compromise on it. It's the only way it's gonna get fixed. Uh, economically, I think the, you know, the, the politicians got to do a better job of coming into some kind of agreements as far as the budgets go, uh, as far as uh, wages go, as far as uh, um, social security, you know, you know, all of that stuff, man. It's just, it, it, there's never, it seems like when we get a new, new person in office, everything changes. You know what I mean? The, the guy before that did four years, whatever he put in place, they're looking to undo. They spent two years undoing it, two years trying to put their policy in, in, into effect, and then they're out, and then it goes over to the next guy, you know? Just, they gotta come with one plan and just stick to it. Otherwise, it ain't gonna work. What are some of the misconceptions you feel that the common person has about homeless? That everybody's a drug addict and all we're looking to do is just uh, get high and, and uh, you know, uh, ask for money just to, just to do drugs. It's not the case. It really isn't. It's really not the case. I mean, we've got a bad rap on that. Yeah, there's some people that that, that do that or, or they'll lie. That's that's a big misconception too. Like, you got a couple of people, bad apples that will, will fake the funk and, 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 and you know, uh, just lie to get what they want and, and but that's not everybody man i mean there's there's ways to test you and say hey man you really a veteran all right well what's your mos number or, you know just a, a, anything and just you know pull the pull the card on that uh and then weed them out but you can't condemn everybody for one person's bad actions you know that'd be like me saying you know uh, well you know like with enron you know that one bad businessman that ripped everybody off on billions now every businessman is is a rip-off artist and you all suck so it's not fair <laughs> it's not the case so i'm closing man you want to give some words of encouragement to individuals that may be experiencing the same unfortunate circumstances yourself yeah keep your head up grind it out try to get a positive attitude and help each other man you know stop trying to uh you know uh rip each other off or put each other down or just to try to get ahead you know and we all got nothing out here we it'd be easier and better if we helped each other with the little we got and maybe we can all get ahead get somebody out of here you know one at a time